Alright, let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, I'ma just get right to it. I know y'all heard the news by now. And this is based around another young rapper who goes by the name of BTB Savage. So BTB Savage, whose real name is Brian Thompson. So Brian Thompson, he's originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Now he moved out to Houston, Texas to pursue his rap career. And that's what he did. But y'all got to understand in that time, this is where you create a lot of friends and foes. So you have to be aware of the people that surround you. Are they really your friends or foes? So this is the reason why your boy BTB Savage got sent up because he did an interview and in that interview he was stating how somebody tried to rob him and his girl while his seed was present. So BTB Savage, he was doing everything in his power to protect his child and his lady. At the same time, he really didn't care what those guys came to do to him. He just wanted to make sure that his child and his lady didn't get hit up. And that's what he did. But even dealing with that, again, it's messed up that another young brother gets sent up by the hands of another black man. Hey, I'm trying to speak to my brothers out there. We got to be aware of the things that we're doing. Because again, everything we put down, the next generation is picking it up. And this is where we get BTB Savage going online, posting pictures of the crime scene where somebody tried to rob him and his girl while his seed was present. So I want to speak to a woman from her perspective to see how she feel about being with a rapper in the rap industry and not just that how you feel about the whole btb situation and how his girl she had to up the burner in order to protect btb and her son as well it just seems like being a woman to a rapper you got to be familiar with what's to come because if not it can send you to a whirlwind so again what you think about btb savage girl going through all this man the situation is so complicated and like you mentioned as a woman who chooses to be with a rapper, there are some things you have to keep in mind that could arise because they are public figures, as we all know. And so with that said, for her to be there that night with BTB Savage and just thinking that she's going to be chilling while he does a studio session and then a whole burner battle begins. And then in that whole situation, you are called upon to up the burner yourself to try and defend your man tussling with this guy who has come to your residence and attempting to rob you and your family. And so from her perspective, she is probably dealing with a whole bunch of traumatization. From her perspective, she is probably very traumatized and trying to understand how she went from being BTB Savage's girl that night to now becoming one of his soldiers. Because even in that interview that BTB Savage did, he stated himself that his girl never upped the burner before. That was her first time. So he say while he's telling her to aim the burner, she's shaking because she ain't never been in that situation. Y'all got to understand, if somebody's never been to a shooting range, let alone trying to handle a whole situation in real time, it's two totally different mindsets. It's just different when somebody has never upped the burner or dealing with somebody who has been in those situations. See, your boy BTB Savage, he's familiar with the burning because he did a little extent in the military. So you already know he got the proper training dealing with that. That's the reason why he say he was able to take the dude down because he already has some physical military combat training that he was able to use on a dude who came up in their crib on some BS. But yeah, it's just messed up that his girl out the blue, she was called on to do something that she never thought in life she would see herself in that predicament. And then what made it even worse is that during the interview where this really would be a tale of survival and triumph, unfortunately, BTB Savage decided where BTB Savage went wrong is that during the interview, he started to brag about the fact that they sent up the assailant rather than just being humble about it and being thankful for their survival. And so that already started to rub people the wrong way is the way that he was talking about the whole situation. And then it only got worse from there. Yeah, it got worse from there because again, when you go on social media posting pictures of a whole crime scene, you have to be aware of the people that you affected. Yeah, you're trying to prove a point to the people from your standpoint of view. But what about the guy you sent up? He still got family and friends that's looking for you. 
So once you go back to that location, posting those pictures, they already know where to find you at. Because guess what? That's where they tried to set you up at the first time. So you going back there, they already knew what to do. So again, with that, we do want to say rest in peace to BTB Savage and condolences to his family. I know his girl is messed up right now that, that one day they defending one another against an assailant. Then barely 48 hours later, her dude, BTB Savage, he gets sent up by bragging and looking for attention in all the wrong ways. And that's the problem that we're having here with the youth. Don't get me wrong, it's cool to promote your branding. But the way you go about it, man, it will impact how people will treat you. You understand? But yeah, man, your boy BTB Savage, he basically put himself in that situation once he went back to that location. That's not something you're supposed to do, man. Especially knowing in the back of your mind that these dudes, they came looking for you there. That they set you up at that location that you came back trying to make fun of the dude that you sent up. Yeah, I understand you got followers. And you got people out there that respect you. And you trying to send a message to other people that don't respect you by letting them know that, hey, if you think about approaching me or my lady, I will handle mine to protect me and my family. Again, that's all cool. But the only part I take away from BTB Savage is he became too braggadocious with telling that story about how he sent the dude up. And again, he went wrong by going back to the location. So it lets me know that what had just occurred, he basically took with a grain of salt. He really didn't learn nothing from that situation. If so, he wouldn't have went back to that location because there's no real reason to go back there. You already stated that day gave you extra PTSD. So dealing with that, it's like, it's like you don't even care about your own mindset. Because again, why would you put yourself in that situation to where now your lady is without you? Knowing you was the one that was there protecting her and y'all see. And if I was his girl, I would be trying to retrace the steps because everything happened so fast. You all are in a situation that starts off as a supposed studio session and then it becomes an all out battle and you guys end up surviving. And then from an interview that your your man BTB Savage does an interview and then decides to go back to the location to post pictures. Now, if I'm his girl, I would have been letting him know I don't want to go anywhere near that location. I don't even want to go down that block. I want to avoid it at all costs, let alone go inside of the crime scene where there's bodily fluids and all of the recollections and memories of that traumatizing night would be coming back. So this is a situation where if I'm his woman, I'm realizing that in that moment, although I'm trying to talk him out of it, his ego has overtaken his logic. Because like you basically saying, the attention has become the new currency to these young dudes. So that's why he felt like if I post this pic of me being in a location to where these dudes tried to send me up, I'm going to look like the bigger guy. But like she stated before, you already are the bigger guy because, because you're the last one standing. So now you're just going overboard by going back to the location to take some pictures. Again, which is just uncalled for, especially if it messed up the minds of you and your lady. Again, like she stated, man, me being a man, I would never take my girl back to that spot to where some dudes tried to set me up to where she was there to witness and my child was in a back room sleep. Come on, man. So maybe this will be a learning lesson to the next young cat who want to go on social media bragging and boasting about something he did to somebody else without understanding that, hey, they still got family and affiliates that's going to come looking for you. Are you aware and are you ready? And that's real. Now, we got to understand that being a rapper, it already comes with people judge you from a perspective. Being a rapper, they judge you from the perspective that you always get into trouble or you always in some criminal activity. And that's not the way you want to see people view you, especially when you're doing business. That's something that a lot of black men have to be aware of. You can't go into places doing or saying anything you want because it will be used against you. So you got to be aware of the things that you put out there about yourself. So with that, always be aware and always stay prepared. But hey, we got more in store. As always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.